the train tracks. And close to the large homeless community called Haven for Hope, some residents live in fear. I do fear for my life because I don't know when it's going to get under, under uh, control. Juanita Rangel worries about the homeless people who now hang around her neighborhood because Haven for Hope is located nearby. Leo Galvez lives there. I've seen a lot of bad stuff, yes ma'am. Like what? Oh, a lot of violence, um, drugs stealing, doing whatever it is they have to do to get their drugs. And that's in the neighborhood nearby? Yes. This 10-year-old boy says his family also lives in fear. Every time that somebody like homeless, oh, my mom tells all of us to get inside. Many residents say they've come to terms with the fact that Haven for Hope is near their neighborhood. But they hope code compliance could do a thing or two about sprucing up the area's conditions to cut down on crime. For instance, getting rid of this abandoned house located near Haven. Neighbors say it's a hotbed for crime. We see just a lot of people actually just uh, walking back and forth, um, basically as asking for change, usually going to that abandoned house. Twice since I've been here, uh, there's been two ODs where the ambulance had to drag out the bodies. So this is the abandoned house that nearby residents complain about. It is creepy, it is scary. You can't see close enough, but there's actually bugs everywhere and a little pillow where someone obviously sleeps. Nevertheless, residents say a number of homeless people come here all the time. If they got rid of their house, it would solve a lot of problems. Christina Coleman, Fox News at 9.